you go on these deep thought experiments in your mind and hopefully eventually you come to a simple conclusion something that you can always refer back to for some sort of clarity when you're going through life this is something that i strive to do you know so i might spend a lot of time thinking about a particular topic sends me down a whole bunch of cascades and eventually my hope is that i'm going to come on the other side of it with some sort of new perspective new understanding something that's kind of like a bite-sized piece that i can consume that i can refer back to without having to read the whole phd report again go through all of the thoughts a conclusion something with a punchline one of these thoughts that i have when i I don't want to say the economy of, of my life, but I like to think about the, the, the need and the want. So two areas, two baskets, which I put every action into. And I really feel, and I've kind of reinforced this over the years, especially with working um, in the field that I work in health. I really feel like the balance between these two baskets determines health especially mental health. Let's just talk about mental health for the, for the moment. What do we want to do? What, why do we want to do things? Generally speaking, it's because they have some sort of a reward. Why do I like to play video games? Why did I love playing video games as a child? Because I could play GTA and take my character, start it now. By the end of the night, I'm driving a Ferrari very very quick very very quick incline very very quick ascent to, to superstardom real life is slow slow and there's no promises and there's no load button so you can't drive off the top of a building to get some sort of extra point because if you don't make it you die in video games no nah. quick kudos bang dopamine fix bang success goals checkpoints very easy to 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 get so the reason i wanted to play video games is because it was easy it was pleasurable because of these dopamine fixes so easy to get dopamine fix now how easy is it to get a dopamine fix in training like proper dopamine fix like getting that ferrari in gta how easy it is to to get a pr in real life you have to wait a very long time to get a pr Sometimes you have to wait a freaking year. Now, how many people have the stomach, have the willpower to go through so much time with no dopamine fix? That's a very hard sell. So, me as a child, back in the day, I spent most of my time, most of my thoughts thinking about what do I want? What do I want? Because the concept of time when you're young, like the day lasts forever, man. It lasts forever. Now, as a, as a 33 year old, I blink and it's time to go to bed. As a child, there was a lot of stuff in my want basket. Rarely did I want to do something that, that, that I need to do. Okay, I'm going to do something that I need. Yeah, okay, I'll do some schoolwork, blah, 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 blah. But most of my thoughts were about wants. Want, 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 want. I feel like the difference between an adult and a child is how much stuff they have in each basket. I feel like a, a lot of child minds, they just think about the wants. I want to do this. I want to do this. I look at my, my kids. They're just always running around playing with every, whichever toy they want. It's always playful. Play, 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 play. But I feel like as you transition into adulthood, you need to start thinking about what do I need to do? An adult can't play 24-7. You can't. You're not going to be productive. You're not going to achieve anything. You're going to sink in this society. You have to spend a large portion of your time in the need basket. What do I need to do? And everyone's needs are going to be different. And I'm not talking about going to work and all this sort of stuff. Yeah, that's, that's all well and good. But like deep internal drives. What do I need to do to make myself happy? It doesn't, it's not as simple to look at it from the outside. But if you get these two baskets out of balance, you're going to be depressed. You're going to be frustrated. You're going to be anxious. Too much dopamine, too much pleasure is going to rot you. Make no mistake about it. You will rot from within. You will have anxiety you will have depression. You will have all these weird symptoms that the body's trying to send to you. 
your soul is trying to sell, uh, uh, send to you. And it's weird. But the last thing a depressed person needs is more pleasure. The last thing that a, that a depressed person, a sad person needs is more pleasure. What I feel in, in my experience in my life is that that person needs more needs. What do I need to do? And a lot of the time, the needy stuff is not fun. There's no dopamine fixes. You just have to go do this shit. How many people want to go into an ice bath? I don't want to do that. I need to do that. It is productive. I need to train today. It's not physical, man. It is a mental thing. And this is something that no one talks about. The mental aspect of life, man, I'm telling you 90% of life, 90% of success in life is all mental. It's mental. Powerlifting, Olympic weightlifting, bodybuilding, any barbell, strongman, it doesn't matter what sport it is that we concern ourselves with. There is a mental component there. On your shitty days, you are training the mind. You are training the mind. Do not let go of that opportunity to train the mind. That is 90% of the battle in this life. I'm not feeling it today. I'm going to go, I'm going to go sleep today. I'm not feeling it today. Ah, you know, ah, shit's going bad today. I'm going to miss it. Man, get out of the mentality of just training when you want to. You need to train when you need to. That's where the gains are for this, for this mental side. This is something that I get reminded constantly. People ask me all the time, Ivan, you're some sort of hard-ass guy. Why are you doing what you're doing? And I try over and over again to teach people. A lot of the times, I, I don't mean to be rude to people, but I'm trying to teach people how to be men. Quit being a child. Being a man is doing shit you don't want to do. Why? Responsibilities, man. I've got a couple of kids, man. I can't take all the wants I want. I've got to provide. I've got to think about it. Let's expand on that point as well. There's going to be many obstacles in your life. There's going to be many points where you're going to get struck to the ground like a piece of shit. You're going to feel crap. If you just go from one dopamine hill to another, to another, to another, what are you going to do when, it, when life really kicks you in the balls? You lose a loved one. Something bad happens in your life. Are you mentally tough enough to put up with this shit? This is why I say all the time, every single day you wake up, you have to think to yourself, whereabouts in this day am I going to have some freaking discomfort? Nobody wants that shit, but you need to have discomfort. It's a palate cleanser. It's something that is an absolute must for a strong mental human being. If you want to be a man, if you want to be a leader, you have to be mentally tough. No one's going to follow a wuss. I don't care if they're 300 pound, shredded, 5% body fat. Nobody's following a wuss that's going to run for the damn border as soon as the battle swings the other way. The, the men that are followed are the guys who are surrounded by 10 blokes and he's still chopping head, uh, uh, heads off. That, that is valor. That is honor. The guy who doesn't give a shit, mentally tough. Keep at it. Keep shoveling that shit. If you want to be a man, a successful man, whichever measure you want to use for that, let's just talk about your own home. If you want to be respected in your home, you better start doing more needs and less wants. Appreciate all of you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.